now uh, we are going to discuss the refraction but actually along with the refraction there will be always be some reflection and also some absorption now we can see my apparatus contains a ordinary previous already we have the filament clamp i have removed the filament this bulb itself is my apparatus now if i pass the laser light through it through air it will go in a straight line through water it will get, go straight line and we can uh, reflect refract everything can be seen i'm going to sh show you uh, after this that how laser light is being reflected and refracted simultaneously and also the total internal reflection now you see this is light is traveling in a straight line in air and light is also traveling in water so in a straight line so you see any particular medium light always travels in straight line now if we pass on from the rarer to the denser medium which we were just discussing you can see clearly that a part of the light is reflected and part of the light is refracted now if i increase the angle of incidence the intensity of the reflected beam increases and the refracted beam also decreases this is a very important law of uh, refraction of light that when the angle is more or less perpendicular reflected line becomes weak and the refracted line becomes strong so from this experiment we can see that when light gets reflected from a boundary a part is refracted and a part is reflected but as the angle of incidence increases you see the reflected intensity is more than the refractive intensity now if we go from water to air what will happen let us see and you see that the light goes straight now i gradually increase the angle of incidence see in water also you can see a part is getting reflected in the water also a part is getting as the angle increases the refracted reflected intensity in water increases now there is no reflected intensity almost refracted intensity is strong but now the reflected intensity is increasing if i increase the angle more then you see there is no refraction this phenomena is called total internal refraction that means when light travels from a denser medium to a rarer medium when the angle of refraction just exceeds the 90 degree angle of refraction exceeds the 90 degree then it totally reflected in the first medium so this is total internal reflection and if we continue to go further it is always total internal reflection and again we come to the rarer medium to denser medium here you don't get total internal reflection that means in total internal reflection always occurs when a particular angle is exceeded that means the angle of refraction become 90 degrees now again i just uh, tell certain things that when ray of light get reflected refracted this is medium 1 and this is medium 2 whatever we find out that this is angle of incidence this is angle of refraction <coughs> then this refractive index mu is normally it is the refractive index of the second medium with respect to the first if we consider this is air then we can write it that this is mu divided by uh one because air has a refractive index so it is the refractive index of the second medium if we call it then it should be one by mu because the ray of light will now go from the denser medium to the rarer medium so this relation we can change it in this way that instead of mu to 1 we can also write it is mu to by mu 1 and if this angle is theta 2 and this angle is theta 1 then mu 2 by mu 1 that means 
this reverse relation will be uh, sin theta 1 divided by sin theta 2. This is the most general formula that means, we can write mu 2 sin theta 2 is equal to mu 1 sin theta 1. Now, in case of water if the refractive index of water is mu w and the angle now becomes the critical angle theta c, then you see it will be sin theta c and for air if you consider the refractive index is 1 and sin 90, because in this case when it is the falling at critical angle it traces the surface that means, angle of refraction is 90. So, now we get refractive index of the first medium is 1 upon sin theta c. By this way if we know the critical angle from such experiment then we can find out the refractive index, but I tell you for the class 9 or class 10 students, I do not think this relation is there, but if it is in your syllabus better you remember this formula. This is the most general formula for refraction between two medium. Okay, thank you.